Hey now, Taurus, this is Jenna Flower with Abundant Simplified Tarot and more doing some relationship readings, okay? This is for folks in any status of a relationship, if you're single and you're looking, or if you are in a current relationship, maybe you just started a relationship, maybe you're in separation from someone, okay? I'm going to pull two cards, each one representing you, whichever one you resonate with, and uh, the other one represents the person that you're thinking about or your person that maybe you haven't met yet. We've got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So um, that's the first card. And we've got healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So whichever card you're resonating with here, I feel like this person's kind of ready to move forward, okay, is ready to uh, take that, take that, you know, some people think it's a risk, right, to open yourself up to someone else, uh, to take that journey. I think someone actually is excited about doing this. And the other person is, you know, needing, if they don't understand this, to, to heal some past issues, to not bring that forward into this new relationship okay so i'm going to do a reading wow oh my goodness on the progression of this relationship between the two of you i have the ten of cups that popped out right away i have a page of cups in the reverse and i have the temperance card so for somebody here i feel like i could possibly be speaking to an earth angel one of you a light worker a light bringer a healer okay um I really believe that somebody is coming from a place of really having a lot together. Now, um, this could be spiritually as well as financially. Someone here has built, has built things up already, okay? The issue here is they are kind of neglecting their heart space and they need to have patience here. Okay. They need to understand that there has to be a balance and a flow. I feel like this, this, Possibly either one or both of you have gone through a period of deep transformation here. Okay, maybe some significant tower moments um, that led to some really like soul searching stuff here. Okay, and I feel like you're kind of whoever I'm speaking to, either you or this person is kind of in the position now where they've done a lot of the work. They've gotten the clarity that they need. They understand that this was an opportunity to kind of, uh, you know, start from scratch on some things here. I think that there were some some devastating things that happened in the past. Somebody could have uh, been in an accident. Somebody could have lost someone close to them. I do see this as a potential for um, a marriage here. Okay, so this could end up being a very solid relationship. And I again, I think it's because, okay, with these two tens showing up, so, I feel like both of you have done work, okay? Both of you have gone through a lot. So there's going to be that, that gravity in the relationship, okay? Let's put this out here. Now, I'm going to ask for clarity for both of the people separately here. Thank you, angels. Thank you, gods. I'm going to move this over. I apologize for the glare, you guys. Um, it's actually sunny on and off today, which is yay. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Okay. So for this passion card that's coming out here, I've got the sun in reverse and I've got this three of swords. I feel like this person went through a deep, 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 okay, situation of betrayal. It could have been a third party situation in relationships. It could have been somebody that promised to do all these things. You could have even had a contract with this person and they just completely just took from you, okay, betrayed you, lied to you, cheated, you know. Um, all this kind of stuff. And it, and it left you in a place of feeling really vulnerable and really exposed, okay? Um, for this person here who's healing the family issues, I feel like it was a lot of emotions and a lot of kind of self-reflection back into the past. You know, what do I need to take accountability for? 
Okay, what was my part? Because we bring in what we what our souls need to learn, right? So part of this was somebody really understanding that um, they had to they had to make some some changes here. Okay, let's get more specific. I'm gonna ask for clarity as to what happened here. Okay, I've got TikTok in the reverse. I've got Y and I've got Treasure Island. Okay, so I feel I feel like um, this person was trying to do things too quickly. Okay, um, you're trying to rush yourself. You're trying to okay. Like, take a leap before you've gone up the steps. Have you ever tried to go upstairs? Like, if you're late or something and you're rushing and you try to take two or three steps at a time. And if you're not, like, in your awareness, you, like, fall and hurt yourself, right? You ever smack your shin? <laughs> okay. That's what I feel like is happening over here. This person with all this passion, they might have a lot of passion. and might, might have a lot of love to share here. I'm going to set this up. Maybe that'll help. So you can see the card. Um, and I just feel like, and, and when, you, when you're in a situation like that, where you kind of want to take that leap and you're, you're not totally grounded, you're not in yourself, you might be seeking things in the outside world that should be coming from yourself. Okay. So there is, you know, that's what needs to be said there with this person. They were trying to understand why all of this happened to them, right? Like, why did I have to go through all of this to get where I'm at now? Okay. And they have managed to move through this. All right. They are seeing things kind of for what they are. Um, I think they're looking back. If this is somebody that you've separated from, I think they think about you. Okay. And they see you as, you know, like the answer to prayer here. Okay. Right. But again, again, we can't seek what's supposed to be happening inside of us in other people, right? We can't seek our solace and our wholeness in somebody else or it's not going to work. All right, so let's move forward here and see what the progression of this relationship looks like. There you go. That way you can see the card. <laughs> okay, let me grab another deck here, and we're going to see what happens um, as you guys try to move forward, now that you have some insight here. I thought I saw a card flipped over here, somewhere in the deck. Yeah. Okay, yep, let's try that again. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Well, this is interesting. All right, moving forward, I think um, the potential for this relationship, okay, is going to have somebody in their head. All right. Um, I think you're, you're, you're blocking your blessings here. Okay, you're blocking your blessings by not shifting perspective here. And I feel like this person, um, I feel like you guys could possibly come together or meet in a social situation. Um, I think that, you know, even as like, say, a date or something, it could be a social situation or some kind of a celebration. Some of you, uh, you might meet or see this person at a wedding or an event, you know, something like that. And I feel like um, there, I feel like you guys are going to feel like you have known this person like forever. It's going to be one of those things, or if you know who I'm talking about, you feel like you've known this person forever. Okay. Um, it could be, if you're with this person, it could be a social event that kind of helps to shift things. Um, because I've got a really solid foundation here. I've got a Queen of Pentacles here. Um, Queen of Pentacles 
is spiritually gifted as well as financially gifted, but it comes in in that divine feminine energy, which is nurturing. Notice the green, the heart space, the growth. Okay, and that's what's going to need to happen. That connection with the heart space is going to provide that, you know, sanctuary that I feel like you guys are both seeking. Someone else um, doesn't recognize their own value and their own worth. Okay, and in the past, this has caused them to feel like they can't be truly themselves here. So they're like sneaking around, right? Like, you know, it comes up as a seven. So this is a period of growth. It's it's like self-esteem. It's like self-worth. It's um, understanding how valuable they are for themselves. Okay? So that could be an issue that's coming up for both of you. Come to the edge and to be fair. Okay? Um, this could This relationship, knowing the potential for it, knowing how you're feeling. Okay? could bring you to like the emotional edge of things. It's going to bring all this to light. What needs to happen here is that you need to equitably hold space for each other. Okay. It's not about one person doing it for another person all the time, or one person doing it for the other person, like all the time. So be careful how you're setting the tone in the relationship. OK, if you're with this person and there isn't an equitable give and take, then that's where this is all going to come to the surface here. OK, there's a change in the wind. So I think you guys are both open to really coming about this in a very mature way. I think there needs to be some communication that happens. Um, I've got transformation. I've got death and I've got struggle. So I feel like you guys are both still in process of transforming um, whatever you've been dealing with on a personal level to bring it into the new, okay? I feel like there's been significant struggles for both of you. I'm going to go ahead and grab another deck here. Somebody could be healing from an illness as well, okay? Yeah, it's really about perception here, okay? So step into that higher self. All right, and ground yourself so that you guys can come together. I feel like you really need to have conversations. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of passion in this relationship. There's a lot of optimism that things would go very well. Um, I also feel like, you know, there's a question about the loyalty and the unconditional love because it's coming up in the reverse here, as well as the Merlin is coming up in reverse. So for somebody, they might be questioning whether this other person or whether they themselves can be loyal because that they know that that's what that other person deserves. Okay, maybe you're maybe one of you is a player and you're trying to figure out if you can do that. Okay, we've got Merlin, which is alchemy, justice and balance here. Maybe you're worried about, you know, things that have happened in the past catching up like some kind of karma and you don't want to destroy this relationship over that. Okay, thoughts, words, intellect and analysis. Uh, the 29th could be of some import for somebody here. OK, uh, some kind of importance. It could be an anniversary of something um, that event could be on the 29th. Um, I've also got the number 11 coming up. OK, so understand that this is really about communication. This is about understanding where you guys are at in the moment. OK, and, you know, which is what a relationship is. You are literally doing things in the moment. Okay, let's ask about this progression here. I've got the devil coming out. I've got the king of cups. So again, the message here is to not do things the same way. I really feel like there could be a marriage here. I feel like um, you guys are going to let. And when I say marriage, it doesn't necessarily mean like a formal ceremony thing, because I know a lot of people aren't into that. Okay, but I think there's going to be a committed union that could possibly happen here. And it's going to be based, um, notice the divine masculine popped out here, in a very grounded give and take of love. These are people that are teaching other people how to do it, right? Like people are coming in to ask them how to do it. They do it so well, all right? It's about doing things differently. I feel like you guys are going to be letting go what you need to. The All of these lessons are well learned. The, the struggle is going to end. And there's going to be a period of rest here. 
I would suggest that you both, again, with that communication, have the conversations, give it a couple days to settle in, right? Don't be making spot decisions is what I'm hearing. Yeah, I've got, it's safe for you to love, open your heart, give and receive the highest energy of all, okay? I also have pay attention to the red flags and worth waiting for. So spirit wants you to understand that this relationship is something that has, holds high potential here, okay? High potential here. Divine timing is at work in your love life. All right, we always have to pay attention to the red flags. If you're healing and you're growing and you're self-aware at all, you understand that it just doesn't end. I've got perception coming out again. I also have cleaning house, releasing emotional baggage. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some more cards here. Let's dive into the specifics. This is for the passion card. Uh, in the meantime, please check out the description box. I've got books listed there. And I also um, just got my store up and running. There's some new products up there. So check those out. Yes, for this passion person, we have the visionary coming in. Number 46, which goes into a 10, right? The, the, it's completion. The number of completion. Developing habits and actions to help you turn your visions into reality will guide you on your path to ultimate success and happiness. Okay, that's coming up for that passion card. I feel like this person over here is really good emotionally and spiritually. Like they've got that down. Okay, um, I feel like there's been, you know, they just still kind of trigger or get traumatized or, you know, they're kind of cynical about things, which shows the need for, for healing, right? When I ask about this healing family issues, I've got the worrier. Okay. I love these cards. I love the images on them. Know that you have the power to defeat negative thinking. Learn to understand and cope with your greatest enemy, your own fear. And I really see that happening. I think that, and, and five plus one equals six. This is the card of balance here, right? I really feel like this person, I feel they're worried about like things that they've done in the past or maybe, you know, something coming back in to ruin this. Okay, that's what I am picking up on here. All right, let's get some Oracle cards out. Hey, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Leave some comments. Let me know that this is resonating with you. You can claim parts of the reading. Uh, I think I actually put a claim emoji, which is kind of cool. If you join the membership, I'm not sure if it's up and running yet. Yeah, you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. And this is for both of you, okay? Um, you know, again, don't just leap into a situation that maybe you're not ready for. Take your time. I, that Garth Brooks song about something about like enjoying the dance, right? Like you don't want to miss the dance, okay? I've got awakening in reverse, Somebody may or may not understand that this is part of their awakening process. All right. It's energetic upgrades, a new way of being integration. So this hasn't completely happened yet. You might understand it, but it hasn't completely integrated yet. And, you know, these are huge shifts that we're all going through. We need to, you know, save space, hold space for those integrations. And these are conversations. I mean, how exciting it is what we're going through here on the planet right now. These are things that you should be talking about and how it's affecting your life, right? We've got birthing a new age, bringing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. Uh, when you come together in a partnership, you know, you are literally creating a brand new planet or a bland, brand new universe together. I told my younger son when he was starting to date and looking, you know, to be more serious and committed with folks, picture a planet in front of you. What are you pouring into that planet? Are you pouring joy, health, good behaviors, good boundaries, right? A solid foundation to build on, or are you letting anxiety and stress, right? Because that mindset stuff is what we need to take care of on our own. All right. It also dance with life here. Do something to shift this. I feel like there's been a lot of 
Oh, wow. I also have It's All Good coming out. Um, I feel like there's been, you guys have been through a lot. And what's happening then is, um, you know, it makes you want to rush. Like you start to feel this good feelings and it makes you want to rush. And spirit is saying, don't. Okay. Validation. Slow but steady. I'm going to get a couple more cards here for you. Passion. I've got goodness. Okay. I overcome my imperfection, imperfections, polish my character and feed on the positive. Thus, I free myself, allow my goodness to manifest and become a source of joy. Through gentleness, I offer unconditional support, understanding and love to myself and others. Here, look at that beautiful heart space, right? All about the heart space. I also have harmony coming in here. I open myself to the divine within me. I am the image of the divine. I have the power to bring light into my life. I turn any darkness in me into something beautiful in the absence of resentment, anger, or doubt. I find my harmony. Okay, so this also speaks to forgiveness. I've also got shining light and everything turns into light. So um, I feel like you guys are still in the process of that integration, right? Still in the process of, of kind of healing from whatever was going on. And, you know, maybe you're coming together to help each other heal, but you still have to do the healing for yourself. Okay, I've got this five of swords again coming up. We had the seven before, right? Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the temperance in reverse. This is the validation. You're seeking clarity. You don't have to put on a facade. If you're putting on a facade, if you're trying to make yourself look like something uh, rather than what's authentic, it's not going to work. In fact, it's going to do the opposite here. Okay. And this is really about regulation and self-regulation and coming into your power and allowing for that divine timing. I'm going to do one more pull here for you. I'm watching these squirrels chase each other around a tree and they're going literally in spirals up and down the tree. It's so awesome. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right now, the situation, if you if you rush this situation, okay, if you rush this, all right, this this isn't going to turn out well. Okay. For some of you, I feel like there's a possibility that this person, this other person could possibly be getting out of a relationship. And that's why. You know, they want to move forward with you. Okay, they really want to move forward with you. They see you as um, <clears throat> like a wish fulfillment, right? They see that they want to come in and offer you something. And they're still dealing with other things here. I do believe that there's going to be opportunities here. And there's going to be movement. Wow. Somebody really needs to pay attention to what's going on around them here. Okay? Um, like, it's not fair for you to be thinking of another person if you're still with somebody else. You need to have that conversation if that's what's going on. Um, I understand that there can be situations that um, preclude this like if people are in the hospital or going through something but you still have to find the, the time to have this conversation uh, because you know you could be dealing with somebody that could dysregulate very easily now when I asked about the culmination of this okay I've got the world card and I've got the ten of cups so honestly um, spirit is telling you if you do the work and you do things the right way and you take your time and you're fair about how you're doing things, right? No, remember we had that to be fair come up. Um, if you're fair and equitable and graceful about how you're dealing with yourself and other people, I hear forgiveness. There's got to be some kind of forgiveness. I'm also hearing to respect the other person's journey just because, 
Um, I hear somebody saying they might be, you know, the, oh my gosh, my person is so clingy. They won't stand on their own two feet. You know, maybe support them and into getting healing. Okay, like maybe they need to go and get into therapy or they need to, you know, do some work. Um, and you can you can offer that to people without being judgmental because we're all doing the work. Okay, you're in that situation with that person. So obviously, um, you know, that needed to happen. Yeah, I've got temperance and I've got this king of pentacles coming on again. Okay. This is going to take some time to balance out for you guys, but look at this. Like, you know, you've got all four directions showing up here. The world, you're, you're going to be building a new world, right? Like I said, okay? Notice the 21, which comes into a three, mind, body, spirit. Mind, body, spirit, right? Mind, body, soul. Uh, I'm also hearing to rem a reminder to clear your biofield, those energies, Okay? Um, somebody needs to take care of something here and then things are going to move forward. I'm going to ask, yeah, I've got the seven cups as you guys come together or as you guys go through this process, whatever this looks like for you, you need to, to really be aware of, you know, what is an illusion and what is real. This is about learning how, learning the rest of your authenticity. This is about you guys really understanding who you are, what your limitations are, how you communicate with others, um, what you need and what you would like to see, okay? Um, I feel that there's a, a grace to this relationship. Um, I feel like there's a grace to this relationship, like, like that you guys just, there's a peace here. You guys get along really, really well. Okay. Like there's a calming peace when you guys come together. Okay. I've got be devoted and committed and unleash the wild within. So figure out what you want and what you don't want. Be committed and devoted to staying and putting only good things in that in that planet, right? And then enjoy yourself a little bit here, okay? It's okay to take risks. This is how we learn. Notice again, it's coming up in the divine feminine here, okay? This is this is about your intuition, self care, your own healing process. What is best for you? Yeah, let go of the need to be right. It's not about that. Come from that higher perspective. It's not about who's right and who's wrong. It's about how can we respect each other, have these conversations, and move forward in our in our own respective journeys and the journey together on this planet, right? Okay, Taurus, I hope this has been helpful. Please take good care of yourselves, take good care of each other, and as always, be kind out there.